Although Pfizer's vaccine is not yet approved by the Food and Drug Administration, medical experts in Wisconsin call this news a potential game changer. As our Kristen Byrne explains, they caution this will not be an instant cure for the pandemic. Doctors I interviewed today say the flu vaccine is normally 40 to 60% effective. So more than 90% they say is like hitting it out of the park. Dr. Jeff Pothoff, UW Health's chief quality officer, calls Pfizer's early COVID vaccine data promising. Can we be excited right now or should we be waiting for that other shoe to drop? I think it's okay to be optimistic about this. Uh, it's not the final word and the uh, ink is not dry yet, but um, I, I think we can take this as good news. The trial involves more than 40,000 people. Half received two doses, the other half a placebo. Pfizer says so far the trial hasn't shown any serious safety concerns. Aurora's infectious disease physician, Dr. Robert Sitchenberg. For the first time, it provides light at the end of the tunnel for this pandemic, which we have really not had before. The vaccine news comes as COVID's grip on the country strengthens. In Wisconsin, just two days ago, daily cases set a record with more than 7,000 positive COVID-19 tests. If Pfizer gets the green light from the FDA, distribution can start. Pfizer estimates 50 million doses of its vaccine could be available globally by the end of the year. Early on, what you'll see is the prioritization of people who are highest risk getting the vaccine first uh, and then a cascade down, uh, hopefully very quickly, uh, to just about everyone. Medical providers Ascension, Freighter, and Aurora haven't announced specific distribution plans. We've been working diligently for like the last month um, to build a scaffolding so that when the vaccine is available, we'll be able to um, execute our plan. Medical experts caution not to let your guard down. All of them stress the importance of mask wearing and social distancing until a vaccine is readily available. Kristen Byrne, TMJ4 News.